The photolithography machine is the foremost among the nine major chip manufacturing devices, and its importance cannot be overstated. Immersion lithography machines generally refer to 193 nanometers immersion lithography machines, marking a milestone in the development of the chip industry. Starting from the 45 nanometers nanometer technology node, the 193 nanometers immersion lithography machine became the mainstream equipment for chip lithography technology, lasting for 20 years until the 7 nanometers node. The significance of the 193 nanometers immersion lithography machine to China's current semiconductor industry is well known. Recently, the sudden release of the Huawei Mate 60 Pro brought the 193 nanometers immersion lithography machine back into the spotlight in domestic and international media discussions. To date, there are only two companies globally that can produce commercially available 193 nanometers immersion lithography machines. ASML from the Netherlands and Nikon from Japan. There are a total of six models of 193 nanometers immersion lithography machines widely used in the mass production of advanced memory and logic chips. ASML produces four models, while Nikon produces two. ASML claims that their most advanced model, the 193 nanometers immersion lithography machine named TwinScan NXT 2100i, utilizes a brand new lens aberration manipulator providing chip manufacturers with unprecedented correction capabilities. However, starting from January 1, 2024, ASML will essentially not obtain export licenses to ship TwinScan NXT, 2000i and subsequent immersion lithography systems to Chinese customers. In other words, only the 193 nanometers immersion lithography machine model TwinScan NXT 1980i will be allowed for shipment to mainland China. So, who would have thought that the invention of immersion lithography is closely associated with a Chinese individual named Lin Benjian? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's dive into today's video. Let's get started. Lin Benjian is a key figure in the rise of ASML and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, often referred to as one of the six knights of R&D at TSMC. TSMC founder Morris Chan once remarked, if it weren't for Lin Benjian and his team, TSMC's lithography wouldn't have reached its current scale. Clearly, without Lin Benjian and his team, ASML might not have achieved its current scale either. Of course, history doesn't entertain hypotheticals. Regardless, the rise of ASML and TSMC owes much to the 193 nanometer immersion lithography machine. Professor Xu Shuohong, the head of the Department of Electrical Engineering at Taiwan's National Xinhua University, praised Lin Benjian, saying, Academician Lin Benjian is a giant who has rewritten the history of semiconductors and a pioneer in optical lithography technology. It's a great honor for Xinhua to have this humble and willing international talent to teach. Lin Benjian's parents originally resided in Hong Kong and moved to Vietnam during the wartime. Lin Benjian was born in Vietnam in 1942, with ancestral roots in Chaozhou, Guangdong, China. He spent his formative years studying in Taiwan. Lin Benjian is an academician of the Academia Sinica in Taiwan, and was awarded the Mathematics and Computer Science Prize at the 2018 Future Science Awards. In 1963, Dr. Lin Benjian obtained his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from National Taiwan University. He later pursued his doctoral studies in electrical engineering at the Ohio State University in the United States, completing his PhD in 1970. After graduation, Dr. Lin joined IBM, where he worked for 22 years before choosing to retire at the age of 50 in the year 2000. Upon returning to Taiwan in 2000, he joined Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. From 2000 to 2015, he held various positions at TSMC, including Senior Vice President, Distinguished Technology Fellow, and Deputy Chief Executive Officer. In 2014, he was elected as an academician of the Academia Sinica in Taiwan. Dr. Lin retired from TSMC at the end of 2015. Dr. Lin Bunjian's most significant scientific achievement is related to research on immersion lithography. The association between Dr. Lin Benjian and immersion lithography can be traced back to 1987. During that year, while working at IBM, he published a lithography paper titled, The Future of Subhalfmicron Optical Lithography, in the journal, Microelectronic Engineering. 
this publication was made against the backdrop of the optical lithography route debate. The paper explicitly stated, the actinic wavelength can effectively be reduced by using an immersion fluid between the front element of the lens and the wafer. In essence, it highlighted that by filling a liquid between the last lens element and the silicon wafer, the effective optical wavelength could be significantly reduced. Now, let's address the question raised in the video. Who invented the 193 nanometers immersion lithography technology? Is it truly related to Dr. Lin Benjian? Examining the timeline, the sequence of events is as follows. In 1855, Italian scientist Giovanni Amici invented immersion objectives. As an extension of this technology, in 1980, researchers W. Tabarelli and E. W. Lobach from Liechtenstein proposed the application of immersion principles to lithography and filed a U.S. patent. In 1987, while working at IBM, Dr. Lin Benjian published a paper in the journal Microelectronic Engineering where he pointed out that the actinic wavelength can effectively be reduced by using an immersion fluid between the front element of the lens and the wafer. However, he did not explicitly state that this liquid was deionized water, nor did he specify the 193 nanometers operating wavelength. In 1998, one of the two major giants in lithography machines, Nikon Corporation from Japan, realized that their 157 nanometers lithography technology path might be incorrect and began to focus on immersion lithography technology patents. On March 26, 1998, Yoshio Fukami and Nobutoka Magome from Nikon Corporation submitted a patent application for immersion lithography, technology titled Projection Exposure Method and System. The patent was granted on March 16, 1999, with an international PCT publication date of September 30, 1999. During the SPIE Microlithography Conference in February 2002, M. Switkes and M. Rothschild from the Lincoln Laboratory at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, reported the results of 157 nanometers immersion experiments. They also reported that deionized water, purified water, was sufficiently transparent for 193 nanometers exposure. In the case of 193 nanometers immersion, the so-called infrastructure issues seem to be non-existent, a common challenge with 157 nanometers. 157 nanometers lithography required a large amount of high-quality CAF2 crystals. Additionally, resist materials and organic film materials necessitated new material development and supply structures in the lithography industry. On the other hand, if purified water was suitable for 193 nanometers immersion, there seemed to be no need for infrastructure development because purified water was already common in the semiconductor industry, and all optical materials for 193 nanometers had already been developed. During the same conference, Dr. Lin Benjian, who was already working at Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, delivered a plenary talk. At that time, Dr. Lin Benjian was 60 years old. His speech further strengthened the confidence of the lithography industry in choosing the immersion lithography technology path, especially as this approach received support from ASML Corporation. The turning point came in 2003. In July 2003, lithography machine manufacturers showcased their development plans for 193 nanometers immersion lithography machines. Semitech and its member companies redirected their development resources from 157 nanometers to 193 nanometers immersion lithography. In October 2003, when Dr. Lin Benjian's team visited ASML for technical discussions, ASML demonstrated the first lithography results on a resist using an immersion exposure machine. In August 2004, ASML Corporation delivered its first 193 nanometers immersion lithography machine. The TwinScan AT-1150i 0.75NA tool to the Albany Nanotech facility for early stage immersion lithography research. Subsequently, ASML introduced the TwinScan XT-1250i and XT-1400i, and in 2006, they launched the first mass production immersion machine, the XT-1700i, marking the official start of 193 nanometers immersion lithography in mass production. In 2007, ASML unveiled the TwinScan XT-1900i immersion system, 
boasting a numerical aperture of 1.35, the highest in the industry at that time. As mentioned at the beginning of this article, the TwinScan XT 2100i immersion system is now widely used in chip factories in the United States, Japan, Europe, South Korea, Taiwan, and other countries. Undoubtedly, every advancement in advanced lithography technology represents the collective wisdom, efforts, and hard work of numerous scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs. However, there is no denying the significant contribution of Dr. Lin Benjian to the development of 193 nanometers immersion lithography machines. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.